Hello, hello, beautiful Gemini. Welcome into my channel. Miss Remy Healings, my name is Reem. Welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini. I'm going to do your spiritual growth, your personal development, your healing, and your guidance messages. And then I will flow into your romantic love life reading. So take what resonates, leave what does not. You can watch both readings. You can watch one or the other. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm going to go to the Akashic Tarot. Um, okay. And the Akashic Records are past energies, present, as well as future energies. So let's see what's going on for you. I feel really guided here for your frequency. Thank you, Spirit of the Most High. Thank you to my ancestors, known and unknown. Thank you to my great-grandmother, Nyla. Thank you, Archangels, Guardian Angels. Thank you, Spirit Angels of the Most High. Messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini. If you're the king of roses, okay, what's in your love life? Paths unknown. <laughs> and then you have your clearing the way. Okay. So we're going to read the King of Roses in your love spread, okay? That's someone here that's offering you love, okay? Um, or you're offering them love, okay? <laughs> there is an exchange of love, okay? We're going to get that into that in just a minute here. On your path unknown. So I do feel right now... I don't know. I feel like um, I feel like you're contemplating. You're carrying a satchel filled with the Akashic records, filled with your agreements. It's almost as if you've reached a point within your Akashic records where it's uh, it's almost like a blank agreement. It's a blank agreement. I'll show you guys what I mean. Okay. So within the fairies, there's a blank card, and it came through to my attention the other day, and I just kept staring at it and staring at it and staring at it. This is where you're at right now. There's a blank agreement, okay? See these agreements here? There's one that's un that there's one that's unknown. It's blank for a reason. It's blank so that you can write a new path so that you can write a new agreement or rewrite a previous agreement or amend an agreement. It's something that hasn't been written yet. It hasn't been acknowledged yet. It hasn't been agreed upon yet. It's just a blank agreement. It's almost like you agreed to have a blank agreement at one point, at a fixed point in time in your life to just go whichever way that you want to go, to just do whatever it is that you want to do, to explore an avenue, to experience a path that is unknown. Okay, Gemini? And I feel like that's exactly what is happening today. I feel like you're experiencing this path unknown. Okay, this might seem a little scary, but you know what? It's actually really, really exciting. I feel like you're just contemplating, and it's interesting because I see this white um, light right here, and that's why I pulled up the white page. It's almost like this blank agreement, it, I'm seeing it kind of disperse into this beautiful, fluid spirit energy, and it's just kind of like leading you and taking you and you're kind of writing the story as you go. Does that make sense? <laughs> so you have here a blank agreement. All right. On this path unknown, I feel like in the near future, depending on your timeline, you are going to reach a moment, reach a moment where you're going to have obstacles. Okay, um, 
but you're going to clear the way. All right, you're gonna find a way through. Okay, where's the book? Oh, here. Duh, it's right beside me. I just wanna read it um, for you guys. Oh, I went to the Wishes Fulfilled card. Okay, clearing the way. So these individuals have taken their carriage down a trail that cuts through a forest and continues to their beautiful home in the distance. A large down tree lies before them blocking their path. However, the young man or woman carries an ax and is ready to clear the way. This card is a strong signal that it's now time to take significant action to remove an obstruction in your way. It may be in your personal life, in a relationship, at work, or with a creative project. You must be clear-headed. So. So be sure to temper your action with calm and forethought. If you are too urgent, excitable, you may waste your energy or even cause damage. On the other hand, if you're overly gentle and cautious, you won't clear the way completely. Be determined and strong as you work to remove the obstacle that blocks your steps. With time and attention, the way to your dreams will be open. It's interesting because now I'm, I'm reading them like this. This perhaps is what you're dealing with now. The way that they kind of opened me up. So it's interesting because you're going to the four to the eight. Okay, so bear with me. But please place yourself wherever it is in your timeline. So in the recent past or currently you're dealing with some sort of obstruction. Spirit is guiding you to, um, to be clear-headed, okay? Because when you're clear-headed, then you can clear the obstruction, all right? So with time and your attention, the way to your dreams will be open. And here's the way to your dream that is open. And the way to your dream, when you clear this obstruction, you imminently open a blank agreement. And this is a path unknown, and it is open to your dream. The way to your dreams will be open. Take whichever path you want. You'll get to your dreams, regardless which path you take. It's like you can't be wrong here. Okay? So, um, let's go to the Santa Muerte Tarot. We just need to break them up in two small hand problems and they're really tough they're good quality they're hard to bend okay oh I think that I have to do this one one more time okay You have here the lovers. See the keys? See the key and then the locket? It's almost like, it's almost like spirit is here holding this locket and they're descending this key down and they're saying, here you go, take the key. Take this blank agreement. They're giving you the key. They're giving you the blank agreement. They're giving you whatever, whatever way. Write it. Whatever, whatever you want. Whatever path you're going to take. The path to your dreams will open. That's what you're opening right here. You're opening the path to your dream. They really want you to be clear okay clear your mind all right that's the key here that's the key <laughs> okay to clear your mind even here it's clear there's nothing here <laughs> that's the key to clear your mind you clear your mind you clear the way you unlock a blank agreement go whichever path you're not going to be wrong and you're you will unlock the path to your dreams so it's almost like it's here. You unlock it here within your mind. Okay, when you unlock that in your mind, you're going to unlock whatever obstruction in your path, in your reality. You're going to see a way. 
All right, does that make sense? You have here the Three of Swords. Let me get all your cards out. You have here the Ten of Wands. That's at obstruction frequency. The Three of Swords, the Ten of Wands, right? being burdened, carrying too much, feeling really responsible, something heavy, something heavy like a tree trunk in your way, okay? The hanged man, look at this, the hanged man, Ten of Cups. Look at this. Ten, ten frequency. So you're going from releasing the burdens to a clear and a blissful state. Clear your mind, they say. Look at the hanged man. Clear your mind, they say. Look at the head. <laughs> oh, God. Interesting message. Hold on a second. They're channeling something to me with this hanged man. Clear your mind. Oh my god. They're slippery. You hear the Six of Cups. You hear the Hierophant. Six of Wands. Wow. Wow. You can hear the Nine of Cups, the Empress, the Knight of Wands. You can hear Justice, and you have your Santa Morte. They keep, okay, they keep saying this to me. They, they're going clear your mind we say I keep saying that saying it like that too clear your mind we say and I'm going okay and I'm staring at the hanged man and it's almost as if that they want you to to take your mind higher see how um the head is away from the body it's almost like they want you to expand take your mind away from the physical world for just for just a moment you're going to you're going to return to the physical world it's, it's so weird it's almost like you're having an outer body experience it's almost like they're just guiding you for just a moment for just a moment especially here with this higher vent energy they want you for a moment to take your mind to shift into a different gear, to shift in a, in a different perspective, to ascend higher, to see something higher, to see the bigger picture. It's almost like they want to take your head up to see the picture, the bigger picture, and perhaps to maybe you want to see which path you want to go because the paths are unknown. You're rewriting it right with the blank agreement. And then it's almost like you come back down into your physical nature. And it's almost like you know exactly where to go. So they really want you to clear your mind. And they want you to expand out 
to see the big picture and then come back down and then start writing. Does that make sense? You hover the three of swords, the ten of wands. Okay, so this is the path that needs to be cleared. These are the obstructions, okay? Something painful, something heavy with the three of, three of swords and the, and the ten of wands. Perhaps you had a painful ending, whether it is in love, whether this is in career, um, maybe this is old patterning, old self, old, um, an old life, okay, that you're letting go of. Um, I am seeing, um, I am seeing quite a few people around you assisting you, especially here with the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands. It's almost like you're calling out to people. I am seeing that for some of you, you may be asking for assistance or help because I'm seeing, sometimes I see this person here the three of, with the Three of Swords. I see, sometimes I see it that someone is stabbing someone's back. Sometimes I read it that someone is removing the swords from your back. So I feel like someone here is removing the swords from your back to kind of take some of the pain away. So you might have a friend, um, you might have a colleague, you might have a brother, a sister, whatever, whoever they are, it's almost like they're assisting you to take off the load, okay? It's like, give me some of the burdens. Spirit is really wanting you to ask for help, okay? Even if this is just spirit, okay? Allow spirit to take some of this away, okay? To clear some of this away. Okay, this is the obstruction that is being cleared away, all right? So however your means of clearing the way, okay? And they really want you to, again, take your mind, take your head, ascend it out, expand it out to look at the bigger picture, okay? Because you're gonna, it, this is also a sense of feeling lighter, okay? With this hanged man energy. All right, it's it, to me. It's also it's also you are taking a pause here to figure out what you want to write in this blank agreement. You're taking a pause to figure out. This person's going hmm. I don't know if you can see that, but they're going hmm. Like which path should I take? And spirit is saying again, you're not going to be wrong. Whatever you choose, however you want to get there, there's no wrong path. You're going to get to where you wanna to get to, okay? You're gonna to get to where you wanna to get to. You're gonna be victorious, you're gonna be successful. Six of Wands. I see you celebrating, okay, because you made it. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups with the Six of Wands. You're gonna be celebrating. This could be a really creative project that you're like finalizing or that you're completing, okay? Um, for some of you, this is a move. This is a spiritual breakthrough for some of you. Um, this is a new phase. Okay, you're starting something new. It's exciting. Okay, it's a path that you haven't taken yet. It's something that you haven't started yet, but you're really excited to start. So I feel like you finished something, you're celebrating, and you're starting something new, like immediately. Does that make sense? Like you, you, it's almost like for some of you, you have a creative project and then you reached some sort of block in completing that project. Whatever it is for you, um, could even be healing. Okay, take it however it resonates. Whatever you were doing, there was a block in it. Okay, you remove, you remove it, you complete it. Okay. You complete it. That's one part of the celebration. And then you access, you unlock, okay, the path to your dreams, like what you really want to do. You unlock this blank agreement. And when you start something new, you're celebrating too. Because it's like, guys, like I figured out what I really want to do. Or I figured out this, I figured out this beautiful, brilliant idea. Or I finally unloaded, I'm extremely happy. Like you just want to celebrate. It's like you know exactly what you, who you are, what you are, what you're about. You know exactly your direction, path forward. It's just, you're finding all these reasons to celebrate yourself and celebrate your life and you're doing it with the people that you love, people that you care about. Okay. 
I am seeing that whatever it is that you're clearing out are lessons of the past here with the Six of Cups. Okay, through the past, you learned a lot of wisdom. Okay, through the past and these experiences, you are learning about your confidence. I feel like you're really learning about yourself. I feel like you're returning more and more to self. Okay, you're returning. The more you clear obstructions out, the more that you return back to yourself and you figure out exactly who you are, what you are about, what you want to accomplish, what you want to do. And it's just, I feel like, Spirit really wants you to celebrate yourself. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, so in the past, whatever this obstruction is that you're clearing out is karmic. Okay, so I love that. So this blank agreement, this contract, this blank contract that you're accessing okay unlocking the path to your dreams unlocking a new exciting path unknown to your dreams your new dreams your new goals your new ambitions okay you did that because you cleared your heart okay you cleared your heart from karma so congratulations like this is what i'm saying like you're finding reasons to celebrate and I feel like we don't celebrate often enough in the spiritual community. Like we're always healing. We're always growing. We're also always going through transformations, endings, new beginnings, endings, new beginnings constantly that we don't pause, stop and celebrate ourselves. So spirit is really saying celebrate yourself because this new agreement that you have unlocked, you're going to be busy. You're going to be, be busy writing okay there's a lot of beautiful opportunities that are going to be open opening up for you i also see you just being in a really beautiful blissful state okay i see you shifting and, and changing your mindset your body your your physical nature your spiritual nature everything about you just shifts and grows with you on the path that you create on the path that you write you write with every step that you take the footprints that you leave behind, I, I see footprints here. I see footprints. I literally see footprints. Every footprint, every footprint that you leave behind is going to be written on this blank agreement. So it's like, don't worry so much about the path forward. Just take a step. Just take a step and don't even worry about the mistakes or the divine detours or whatever it is. Okay, just walk. Walk in the grace of who you truly are. Okay? Um, I see that you're really going to be very inspired here with the Knight of Wands. Okay, so this now we're in your in your near future frequency. Okay. So Knight of Wands. Very inspired. Very, very inspired. Um the Empress just so much fruits of your labor i'm seeing i'm seeing someone eating apples and like i don't know why i'm seeing an apple specifically i don't know are you eating an apple right now but i'm seeing so much um fruits of your labor like you're just really enjoying yourself um lots of abundance lots of new beginnings some of you might be on a boat or you have a boat or you're purchasing a boat or you're just enjoying the fluidity and the flow of life wherever it may take you, okay? Um, this is the Nine of Cups, your wishes, your dreams fulfilled. I'm also seeing that this path is also unknown. Look at this. See, this is the path unknown. But you're just going with the flow. You're going to where the, the ocean current takes you right you're just on it for the ride because you just have full faith and trust and here is the santa morte card you're giving birth to new abundance to new beginnings to new things okay so what spirit is saying is that this birth this fertile frequency this divine feminine goddess frequency that has been coming through so much in the collective okay that's this frequency here that's this blank agreement it's like you're you've unlocked it right you gave birth to it okay 
and it's going to bear fruit, it's going to bear um, fruition, it's going to bear abundance, it's, it's going to bring you so much newness in your life, okay, newness that you didn't expect, okay, and some of you, not all of you, but in the near future, you will be uh, pregnant, okay, take it however it applies, but there is a new child, okay, for some of you, whether this is your body giving birth to it or you adopt or you however that may work for you i'm seeing a new child in your life okay that's for some of you take what take what resonates and leave what doesn't so gemini um this was your spiritual spiritual growth in your personal development message okay you are unlocking a blank agreement this is unreal I've actually never even heard or seen um, a blank agreement in the Akashic Records so that was channeled from spirit um, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into your love life and we are going to read the King of Roses okay or a Queen of Roses not female or male gender specific okay I'll see you guys there Hello, beautiful Gemini. Welcome back into your love reading. We are here to read what this King of Swords is bringing through, okay? They came up first in the Akashic Tarot when we were channeling for your spiritual growth and your personal development messages, and they flew out first. So I said, okay, we're going to put you to the side first because we have some things that Gemini and I need to, and Spirit need to talk about. You had clearing the path, you had a blank contract. You unlocked a path to your dreams, okay? There's a blank contract that you have unlocked that you are writing as you go. You are writing this beautiful new contract, this beautiful story as you take one foot in step, instead of in front of the next, excuse me, okay? So here's the King of Roses. So let's read the King of Roses. Where are you? Here you go. Not female or male gender specific, okay? So this card shows an individual holding two roses, a red and a white, demonstrating a balance of passion and purity. At their feet are the yellow roses of healing and creativity. This is the king of love, a person who is balanced and well-rounded. When they appear upright in your spread, it indicates that a potential union could be at hand, either in friendship, business, or even romance. Whether this is a new relationship, a current relationship, or the blossoming of an old one, okay? This person brings tender-hearted and thoughtful support. They are also someone who could be helpful in your personal life, especially where home or family are concerned. Whether the king of roses is you or another person, the role of husband or father, mother or wife is now opening, is now opening to create a happy home or family. So it's interesting because blossoming and opening is sticking out to me here, okay? So someone is open, someone is blossoming to create a happy home and family. It's interesting because you had here clear the way. So there's one person here that's wielding the ax to open the path so that these two people and their carriage can get home there's our home in the far distance okay that's interesting um where am i this card also lets you know that you are ready to stand up for yourself and take loving but considered action on your own behalf it's a time of increasing love and compassion which always start within okay so as always take it how it resonates let's get into it okay i'm actually where am i guided to which one, two, three. I haven't used this one today. Did I use this one today? No. I think mm, maybe once. We're good. Let's ring the bell to clear it, the energy. <sighs> okay. All right. Oh, that's a lovely sound. 
Okay, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is the Golden Universal Tarot. Two more shuffles, I heard. Single? Question mark? Taking it to the next step with someone? Question mark? Is it someone old coming back? Question mark? Let's get into the story, okay? Please take what resonates, please. Um, use your discernment of timelines. It could be reading for someone from the past, someone that you're currently dealing with, or someone that you haven't even met yet. Oh, sorry, spirit said go. All right, all right. I'm going. Ace of Cups. All right, then. That's how we're starting. So spirit is saying this love is coming in for you because you learned your karma. I don't know if I said this to you today or to someone else. I'm not exactly sure. I think I said it to you. I don't know, but but the wheel turns when the heart is free of karma. See, your heart is free of karma. You've cleaned out here with the hermit. You went within. It feels like you did a deep cleaning on your heart space, okay? You stood up for, for yourself in, in previous situations and previous relationships that you were in. You stood up for yourself in, in business and in career, in your growth, in your, in your development. Um, so Spirit is saying that your... The wheel is turning and this love for you is coming in. This love for you is blossoming because your heart is free of karma, right? That's why you had the blank contract. See here all of the contracts you've fulfilled. You fulfilled and you completed your karma. I should have said that in, in the... Oh, I should have said that when we talked about that. I don't know why that, that, that didn't come to mind uh, then. But anyways, it's coming to mind now. Thanks, Spirit. So here you are. A blank slate. You're cleared of your karma, okay? <laughs> so that's why this love is coming in for you. That's why it's blossoming. So let's see. Let's get more of the story. Let's get all your cards out. Oh, my God. Just, oh, my God. It's pulling up my heartstrings. Six of cups, four of wands. Wow. That's a beautiful connection. Very loving. Let's see. Let's keep going. Let me get all your cards out. Are you? You're in the Nine of Swords. You have your strength, Leo frequency. You have your Libra energy. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Cups at the bottom. Ten, ten. Six of Wands. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Holy moly. I think this is the best love reading all week. Nine of Pentacles. <gasps> you have here 2999. Nine, nine. Okay, you could be seeing 99 nine or 999. Nine, nine. You do have here the Page of Pentacles. All right. Is, that, is an offer stressing you out? Something is stressing you out here. Some of you might be stressed or worried that you didn't complete your karma. Um, Spirit wants to assure you that you did, or that maybe some of you are finalizing, clearing out the karma. You do have here the Three of Swords. Yeah, because the way that Spirit positioned it to me is that your the wheel turns when the heart is clear of karma. Okay, this love comes in when the heart is clear of karma. All right. So for some of you, again, depending on your timeline, some of you have already cleared your heart of karma and others of you, you are clearing the way. OK, you're clearing the way you're clearing out karma. OK. OK, Ten of Cups won't leave the bottom. I can feel it, too. I can feel it on the palm of my hands. What is this? The Fool, yeah. There's that Hermit energy. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I really, I really like this. I really do. Let me move these cards. 
Okay. These are some future energies. Okay. Oops. All right. So. Okay. So this is what I feel like you're clearing out. Okay. So some of you, depending on your timeline, okay, depending on your timeline, some of you have already cleared out what you needed to clear out. Okay. Past pain, past hurts, past relationships. Okay. Others of you, you are clearing them out. You're clearing out the pain. You are clearing out the karma. All right. Um, spirit is saying that this will come in when the heart is clear of karma. Okay. Someone here is ready. Someone here is open. You bring in what you seek is seeking you. Okay. I see here that someone is open to a family. Someone here is ready to take on whatever role that they need to take on or shatter the roles. Okay. Forget roles in general. However floats your boat. Okay. Well, however it floats your boat with the six up six of swords but spirit is saying that someone is ready okay to move things to the next step okay i feel like you tried to move things to the next step or you tried to get to um a commitment or a home situation to live together with someone in the recent past and it didn't work out and i feel like it didn't work out because they were detached here with the king of swords this king of swords is the source of your pain and your worry okay um that relationship was a source of that that experience was a source of that okay um i feel like they're coming across to me as someone so this is in your recent past or maybe this is someone that you're currently dealing with i don't know uh, take whatever timeline that, that you are on but this is someone that just wasn't ready they didn't have all the tools that they needed to to clear obstructions within their own self so how could they clear a path and show you a way and show you a life that they wanted to create with you when they couldn't clear the path towards themselves okay they couldn't clear out their own karma okay so i feel like you chose to walk away or you had a, an end okay i'm seeing here the ten of wands okay i feel like you chose to put something to rest put something to bed so to speak here with the nine of swords Okay, so that you can focus on clearing your own way to clear your own karma and to walk a path that is unknown. You unlocked a blank contract. And when you unlock that blank contract, you have someone here that's coming in that is ready for what you have always wanted, for what you are seeking. Again, what you seek is seeking you. Okay, so I feel like you are on different pages here with someone. Okay, I'm seeing here one, two, there's three court cards, so there's three people. So the way I'm seeing this, you're looking for, for someone that is emotionally open is the way that I'm feeling and reading this energy. This person did not give you the emotions that you needed. Okay, they couldn't even support the, your emotions. They couldn't even support their own emotions. So there was no way that they could support your emotions. Okay, I do feel like for some of you, this was a karmic relationship here with the six of cups with uh the libra in the spread when i'm referring to this um past person okay again maybe even current for some of you depending on your timeline all right so i feel like you worked extremely hard okay to try to move things along but i feel like the more that you tried to move things along it just like it did not work it did not budge okay there was so much obstruction in front of in front of you look both of these cards indicate that some sort of obstruction right this person has wands in front of their face they're carrying so much they can't see the path to the castle on the hill these people there's a, a a tree that fell on their path and they need to clear it out to get to again the castle on the horizon so it feels like no matter what you tried to do with this person they didn't have the tools they didn't have the tools okay to make this relationship work okay so i feel like you cleared you cleared it out you cleared your own path you cleared your own way 
all right i do feel like you release this person or you're in the process of clearing and releasing them and that is part of um releasing uh your karma okay this person in the past or current person that you were dealing with was a karmic a hundred percent is the way spirit is putting out to me because you have contracts here that are in your bag and you have a blank contract that's beginning Okay, this person is coming in for you because you cleared your karma or you are going to be clearing your karma. All right? So let's flow. Let's get into this new energy. All right? They don't have to be necessarily a um, king of swords. Okay, they could just be um, carrying attributes of a king of swords. They don't need to be an air sign. Okay? Take what resonates from the past and present and future energies. Just take what resonates. Okay. So, so, I see you as, you know, very independent. Okay, here with the Nine of Pentacles. All right. Um, for some of you, you have already met, again, depending on your timeline, depending when you cleared out your karma. For some of you, you've already met this King of Roses is the way Spirit is, put, is put, putting it to me. So some of you are in the process of blossoming and opening up to one another, okay? To build a home, to be victorious and to move forward together, right? You did have here the Six of Swords, okay? And the Fool, a new beginning, okay? So I am seeing that some of you if, you, if you have met the King of Roses, okay, your relationship is blossoming. You're moving to the next step, okay? Um, and you're holding your, in, you're holding your true independence. You're not codependent on them, okay? Because that, you're, that was part of your, your karma to learn to be independent okay so you learned that lesson you learned that lesson okay i feel like there is some sort of worry probably um sorry my nose all of a sudden got itchy oh when i channel mm. oh my goodness the nine of swords with the page of pentacles I feel like someone, I feel like this is your energy kind of fearing to start a new relationship or starting something new. So I could be um, reading for some of you. There's something that you're worried about. There's something that is stressing you out. You fear someone lying to you. The seven of swords at the bottom. could be this could be for some of you i feel like some of you are still clearing out still clearing out your karma okay for those of you that have cleared out your karma this is something that you have learned to let go you've learned how to trust okay you've learned how to trust this was at the bottom when we were talking about the past okay so you could have you know been dealing with someone who lied to you in the past so you just don't want to be dealing with that in the future okay so you're, you're, oh my goodness gracious, you're learning a lot of lessons, okay? Or you've learned a lot of lessons. I definitely see you as overcoming, okay, your lessons. You're, you're definitely clearing out your heart, clearing out your karma here, okay? And I do see you moving in and blossoming with someone. Someone is ready for this home, ready for this new beginning. For some reason, I feel like some of you are hesitant on this still, like regardless if you've, if you've met this person or not. There's still some sort of hesitancy here, okay? And I feel like spirit wants you to kind of face that, okay? Okay. You do have here the Eight of Cups. So again, I feel like that's with the past frequency that you left, that past relationship that you walked away from. Um, here with the Seven of Pentacles, this is setting the seeds and intentions for something new. All right, you're working really hard on, on, on building, right? Blossoming. So you have here the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles frequency. This is blossoming energy, right? Spirit is saying that there's a blossoming connection here. So you're putting in the work. You're putting in the intentions and it will bear fruit. It will blossom, okay? 
it will blossom. And you're going to be moving forwards here. Okay, you're going to find a lot of peace in this connection. I feel like you're going to find a lot of peace. Someone brings you a lot of peace. Here they are coming. This King of Roses is very um, similar to King of Cups frequency. They're, so they're bringing in a lot of comfort. They're bringing in a lot of um, peace. Okay. They, they make you feel peaceful. They also make you feel safe. Okay. I feel like some of you um, might not believe them. <laughs> Okay, you fear you fear lies. Again, that's that has that has everything to do with uh, learning the lessons from the past. Okay, because that's what you dealt with. So it's fear. It's fear of re it's fear of repeating things. But you're not going to repeat things. Okay, because you've cleared your karma. So spirit is saying you don't need to worry. You don't need to worry of repeating things. This is a blank slate. Fool energy. <laughs> And you have the path unknown with the blank card. Okay. So, oops. So Spirit is saying that you don't need to fear repetition. Because when you've cleared out your karma, you don't need to fear repeating that. Okay, so those, you just need to shatter that perception. Okay, you need to just shatter that. Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing that you and this new person, or for some of you, you've already met this new person. I'm seeing that, um, one person is very, one person is very like courageous and confident and the other person is more reserved and laid back. So I'm seeing that, so I'm seeing that you guys are going to have some sort of disagreements on your wedding. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but that's what I'm picking up. Okay, you're going to you're going to have agreements even disagreements on where you want to live, how you want to decorate, um what your wedding is going to be like cuz one person is like I want it lavish and the other person's like can we just stay at home and say like just sign sign a contract, sign a piece of paper. Okay? So that's what I'm saying. You're making something legal here. So some of you um could be getting married. Okay? Some of you could also be signing a contract to live together. Okay, signing an agreement to move in together. Um, let me see what else I'm getting. Yeah, there's just there's core there's core differences. It's just like your your personalities are are different. But um, you guys just work really well together. So again, some of you have already met this King of Roses and some of you have not. Okay, and, and some of you are still clearing out your karma and some of you have already cleared it. So take what resonates, leave what does not. Um, really beautiful energy. I really enjoyed this one. I hope this resonated. I love you guys. Until next time.